Here are a few tips on how to use GitHub. A quick disclaimer, I'm not a software developer or a software expert. However, my expertise is in quantum hardware engineering. So this is coming from the hardware guy's experience of using GitHub. That's just me. However, I do have some ideas that I'd like to share, and there are four of them. Here they are. Creating a repository, choosing a license, creating folders, and adding collaborators. Each of these I will provide examples for in the browser, and I think these are essential for using GitHub. First things first, software is a pain in the butt. There are bugs and errors, there are glitches, some that are good, some are, some are bad, and then depreciations, apparently software, some certain libraries, they have expiration dates, <laughs> and they lead to incompatibilities, things like that. And then the learning curve for installation as well. You have to open all these terminals and windows. And it's not so straightforward when you're trying to look for the prerequisites. But that doesn't mean you can't learn how to use GitHub. So GitHub allows you to share documentation with the world. And it can count as a publication. It's citable in scientific work. And you can also share the ideas on the on the platform and you can collaborate with people across the world and you can take it as far as you like so the essentials for using github involve good note-taking skills organization labeling things like that for making good re repositories directories and a good place to keep your documentation so this could be on a cloud folder or local storage drive or a combination of both one i like to use is called google keep this comes with every Google account for free. And here's an example of, of my Google Keep. <laughs> you can store text on here. You can store images, things like that. So let's get right to it. So here we are on my GitHub page. When you create a GitHub account, or if you have a GitHub account already, then you can go to the overview page to start. And then this will show. Now. To create a new repository, we can go to this plus icon on the upper right and then click on New Repository. Press New Repository and wait. And then we can add some name. So let's say Q-tip. Or perhaps we want to say CUDA Quantum. I don't know, some random name, right? And then we can say CUDA. We can add a description like CUDA for Lender Quantum. Just random. Well, actually, not necessarily random, but you can add a description here to accurately describe what the repository is about. That's better. And then you can choose between public or private. That's up to you. And then you can add a readme file. It's, it's better to always add a readme file because you can add images and descriptions up front that, that people will be much much easier that it'll be easier for people to follow and then you can choose a license there are default licenses here for software a good one to choose is MIT which is a general purpose software license and you can even consider it like you can use it for open source projects but let's say you wanted to do hardware you want to share hardware for example there is no hardware license available here. So you just click on none and we'll search for the hardware licenses after the repository has been created. So let's click on create repository and then wait. So now we can see that the readme file has been created and here is a preview of that readme file, the description. And you'll notice on the right side that there is no license. So if we want to add a license, we can come here and it says add file. So we click on this and we create a new file. Click on create new file. And to add a license, we need to type in the word license right here in this text box. License. And if you click on choose a license template, so this will pop up, this, this little box, a link that will take you to the license templates. But that's only for software. So if you're selecting a software license and you want to add it, you can click on this 
and it will take you there. But let's say we wanted to add a hardware license instead. So what we need to do is go to open a new tab and then we need to type in choose a license.com up here and then slash appendix choose a license.com slash appendix that will bring you to this table of all the different software and hardware licenses that are available including some rather fun ones <laughs> but regardless these are all official the MIT license is right here for hardware we we can look for this thing called CERN open hardware license so there are different CERN hardware licenses available you can read more about them but let's say we wanted an open source one or something that we can try to use in a patent or something then here is all the details of this license and to use it in our repository we can come here and type or click on this box that says copy license text to clipboard press this and then it will copy everything by itself then we need to come up here to github and then paste right click on this text area text box and then click on paste so now the file contents have been added and we can click on this button this green one that says commit changes it will confirm what kind of description you want as an option you just click on commit changes that's all you need to do so now a license has been added to your github repository so we can click on this link here which is the main repository page and we'll notice again that the license is right here and when we go to the right hand side we can see that a hardware license has been added and it has been uh, there's a link that's been included so if we click on this it will take us to the license details so now let's say we wanted to create a folder so these are just files up front and it can get really complicated and filled up but in order to keep things organized we want to make folders so let's do that go to add file create new file and we type in the name of the folder it could be quantum dash GDS let's say I wanted to add a GDS file under under this folder then I can just type in the forward slash symbol like that so what I did was this was the name quantum dash GDS and then I I clicked on the forward slash symbol or icon that's all I did I typed I typed it right here and now let's say I wanted to add another subfolder I can just say subfolder or whatever name you want for the subfolder to be and then you press forward slash again and so now you have created a subfolder under this main folder and so now here you can actually store the file but I'm not sure exactly how to how else to go about it for for initializing this subfolder so I'm just gonna type in a, a number and save this as a file so this file here is now just a a placeholder that's all it is and in order to add more files to that what we can do is come over here and go to a split screen view and sh go to some folder that that is that you, where, where you are storing the documents you want to upload so for this example I want to upload a GDS design file the that I want to share so I can drag click and drag into the repository subfolder and then you can see them right here what you need to do is click on commit changes and then we can go back to full screen view and we'll see that there is a folder has been that has been created and there's a subfolder as well so if we click on this we will see that there is a GDS and then a subfolder under the subfolder the files are now available so now we know how to create folders in github where we can store sub uh, 
items, documents, and things like that. So now we've actually gotten pretty far. And I will talk about how to add images here. And I'll also talk about how to add um, snippets of code that you can copy. But before we do that, let's go to settings. So this next section is going to be on how to add contributors or collaborators. So you go to settings here, and then go to the left hand left left hand panel, and then you'll see this section subsection that says access collaborators. So you click on collaborators, and then you'll see that it says manage access. Now, if you want to add collaborators or maybe a friend who's who wants to work on a group project, you click on Add People. And you can type their username here, and then their, their names will pop up. Or you can type in a name or a full name or an email of those GitHub users. And then you can, you can uh, send the invitation to your repository. And then you text your friend and say, hey, I sent you an invitation. So that's how you add a collaborator or contributor to GitHub. Well, more specifically, a collaborator. So now we know how to use GitHub. But let's say you wanted to add an image to your description, your readme file. So what you need to do is click on this pencil icon, and that will allow you to edit this text this text section here. So let's say we wanted to add some description of a, of a code snippet. Let's say uh, pip install dependency. So we can, we can add a hash symbol and then say install qiskit metal, just as an example. And then we can enter this symbol, which is called a backtick, next to the number one keycap. One, two, three. So type it. Type the backtick three times, and then press enter. And so we can say, here's the the code that I want to share. Pip install kiskit metal. And then we enter again and then close it by pressing back tick, back tick, back tick. So now, let's say we wanted to add another line of code, then we can do pretty much the same thing. That is, add this back tick. We can copy this over and modify it if we want very easily. And then we can say back tick, back tick, back tick, pip install. Let's say we wanted to add another one such as geopandas and then end it with a triple back tick to close it. Now, we can say commit changes and double check on the on the copyable code. <laughs> so now it says install Kiskit Metal in bold font and then it says pip install kidsgit metal. So you'll see here that this icon allows you to copy the code and then you can paste it wherever it is you want. Maybe on a text document or somewhere else. Or even into a command terminal. You can also copy this one if you want. If you want to merge the two, you just simply come here and then Let's say we wanted to say let's say we wanted to install both of those. We can just click and drag or copy and paste. It's better if they're separate because sometimes the software doesn't like it when you add them next to each other. So that's how you you can you can share something that's that's copyable to a clipboard. So okay, now we let's say we wanted to add an image here. We can Split, go to split screen view, and I have a screenshot here of some code that I made, and I wanted to add this image. All I have to do is keep this readme file open, this 
section and then I click on where I want to paste it. So what I need to do is come over here to this uh, area where the picture is located and then I can click and drag the picture over to GitHub and it will create a link to that to that picture within GitHub and it will store it there. So now I can press on commit changes and then click on this here again commit changes and now when I go to full screen view I can click again to the go to the main repository and it will show here under the readme file a preview of the image and the code that we can copy and one more thing let's say let, let, let me give you one one more bonus example so let's say we wanted to display a number of dependencies or requirements so what I can do is again add file create a new file and then I can type in the word requirements requirements so requirements is just a description or it is a folder or file that that you can show which which libraries or which kind of software is needed for using this the project that is displayed on this repository. So let's say for example Kiskit Metal. Kiskit Metal. Kiskit dash metal. That's the first one. And then the second one is GeoPandas. That's what we specifically used in this repository. So all I have to do is edit the text and then I can add as many as I'd like. And then I can press commit changes and then commit changes again and voila requirements is here and then everything is is available and then let's say you wanted to add some document you can also add a you can also upload a uh, notepad say like notepad is located basically with every windows machine so i can say requirements these are the requirements i can just type in in this text document requirements dash two just just any name really and then I can say kiskit dash metal and then underneath that I can type in geopandas and then all of the other dependencies perhaps you can add like the version whatever version information that is required version something something and then you can type that there so we can save this and then I can say save as requirements dash two text documents txt file press save exit out of here and now let's say I want to upload a requirements file I can do that I can select the file, look for that requirements. I did one before, I put requirements too, but you can type in that or select it. And then the requirements text document txt file is here. And then commit changes. And it'll wait for it to upload. And there it is requirements as a text document. You can add whatever text document you want that has all the text. <laughs> and let's say you wanted to delete something like this one then it's also possible you can come up here to the three dot icon and then press delete file you have to scroll down and then press delete file and then wait for this prompt to show up but in order to actually delete it you need to commit changes you have to commit to this deletion and now it will say file successfully deleted close this and now the requirements as a text document is that we replaced is, is is here so now for real everything is ready it's good to go all right thank you for tuning in once again take care Ada Julio